Hello, everyone. Welcome. It is Tuesday, November 9th, 2021. I am Sally Blue Sister, and this is my turn to talk. as usual, excuse me. All right. I am doing well, Baram. I am doing well. When you wake up every day, it's a good day. <laughs> so today I want to talk about coincidences. Do you believe in coincidences? Do things just happen? Can the same thing happen to people in the exact same way? Is it a coincidence when two people show up at the same place at the right time. Okay, so some people believe in in coincidences and some people don't. Um, This is a topic that I've wanted to do. And since it's around, you know, we just finished with Halloween just passed, you know, and what have you. Um, I just want to know, is there a such thing as a coincidence? I mean, some people say that given enough opportunities that we should expect a specific event to happen. So for a example, um, let's see, Baram says, I saw the title of your show and thought about it. And to be honest, I don't know. <laughs> All right. I'm laughing with you. Ha ha. <laughs> well, okay. So for instance, let's say, um, you like a, a particular person. Let's say you like a particular person and you know this person goes to um, a particular um, store or restaurant, you know, every Friday. If you keep going to that restaurant or that particular store at the same time that they do, what are the chances that you will, um, you know, get together with them or meet meet them or do you or is it a coincidence that you just happen to bump into that person um is an opportunity a coincidence so again it says i say that you know given enough opportunities should we expect a specific thing to happen um and then there's something called the law of truly large numbers and it is um, a statistical um, an, um, analogy that with a large enough number of samples, anything outrageous or unlikely is likely to happen. So again, is it possible for something to happen because you have enough opportunities for it to happen or is it a coincidence? And um, when you look at things with people, can like some people say, I can't believe this happened to you. This, this happened to me the exact same way. Is that a coincidence? Is that possible? So again, I go also say, is it, is it coincidence when two people show up at the same place at the quote unquote right time? So. Is anyone, hello, Crucible Man, and, and welcome, Car One. Welcome to the show. So, again, um, is a coincidence more of an opportunity that has presented itself over and over? Or is it really a coincidence? <laughs> so, um, what do you guys think? Um, Albert Einstein says a coincidence is a small miracle when God chooses to remain anonymous. Mm -hmm. Okay. Is a coincidence again, an opportunity is, or is a coincidence a chance? 
anybody want to jump in? Anybody? I'll send invites out to both of my listeners that I have right now. And you guys can jump in if you want. If not, I totally understand. No problem. Let's see. Crucible Man, you are on. Hello. Yeah, that's a good question. I kind of go back and forth on it, and I don't want to split hairs with with terminology because that's just kind of playing around with, with semantics. But, you know, are coincidences considered the same as happenstances? Because right before you started talking about probability and statistics and things, that's kind of what popped into my head. I believe there is science behind probability and statistics, the likelihood that something will happen given the frequency of the uh, opportunity for it to happen. I do, I do believe that is extremely possible and I, and I think it happens all the time. Now, that doesn't quite get to your example about you and a friend showing up at the same time, you know, at the same restaurant or the post office or, or, or what have you. So in those, in those instances, I guess I'm, I'm sort of dis- making a distinction between frequency of events and, and probability and, and just sheer happenstance. I mean, I think anything is possible on a one-off basis. Um, coincidences to me imply there's a, um, a, 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 cog, a, a cosmic alignment or something, something going on beyond earth. And, and maybe that's the God comment that somebody just made. Um, so I'm kind of making a distinction because I think there, there can be a distinction between sheer luck and happenstance and um, probability and frequency of opportunity, if that makes any sense. Okay. It, it, it does make sense. And um, by definition, a coincidence is a remarkable occurrence of events or circumstances without apparent casual connection. So um, welcome, Frankie, and welcome, Nini. Welcome, Nini or Nene. Welcome. Okay. So I have a story for you guys, and I want you to tell me, is this a, a coincidence or is this something that just happened? Chemist, 100 yard old chemist, welcome, welcome, sir. All right, so I'm going to tell, tell, you, tell you guys a little story. All right, so I met my husband. Um, don't, don't laugh, don't laugh, way, way back when. I met him on America o- Online. Welcome, crazy lady. So you remember that one, America Online, way back, way back when, when you dialed in, you had the analog line that went, yeah. Okay. So um, when I met him, I also met, um, now I was in, in Chicago, he, he was in California. And when I met him, um, I also met another uh, woman who was also in California and we, and, and the two of us, the, the, the other woman and I, we were talking and she said, I know someone that you would probably want to meet. And he seems really nice. And I think you guys would really get along. At the same time, I was also um, talking to another uh uh, f- female that I had started uh, talking to and she was in Missouri and she told me the same thing. Hey, I'm talking to this guy. I think you guys would really, really, you know, you know, get along, whatever. And, um, at the same time, my husband, who I had not started talking to yet or met, he also was talking to some other people who I had been talking to who say, Hey, I, I know, know this, you know, girl out of Chicago. I think you guys would, 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 would get along, whatever. And they were talking about me and my husband. So is that a coincidence? Is that a happenstance? Is that, you know, what is that? Do you consider that um, a coincidence or something that just happened or God had a plan? What do you think? Anybody want to jump in? Crazy lady, chemists. The threat of <laughs> crazy lady says the, the threat of fate. The threat of fate. Okay, so is fate destiny? Fate, destiny? You're using these words, crazy lady. So fate and destiny are those coincidences. Let's see. Anybody want to jump in? I'm going to send you guys invites. If you guys want to jump in, that's cool. And if not, 
That's not a problem. So, Crucible Man, I'm going to give the mic back to you to, until someone else decides they want to jump in. So, do you have a comment on that? And would here's you, Grace. Go ahead. Would, would you consider the word luck to be in the <laughs> same family as, as coincidence? Because in the example that you gave, yeah, that sounds like a coincidence to me. That sounds like there are too many unlikely moving parts without any underlying relationship to one another except for you and your husband there 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 are so, too many disparate parts in that equation for my taste for that to just be orchestrated or something i don't think anybody was in a position to orchestrate anything so when you have so many variables random variables coming together under one umbrella yeah, I don't know what else you could ascribe that to except, you know, blind, dumb luck or or happenstance or, or coincidence. Because now if you had been, you know, talking to hundreds of, of people on America Online, um, now that goes to your comment earlier about the frequency of events and opportunity and things. So that might, you know, kind of hint at something around the probability thing, but that's what doesn't sound like that's what you were doing. So I would have to put that squarely in the category of happenstance slash coincidence. Okay. Oh, excuse me. Crazy lady. Uh, wh what did you want to say? Sorry, you caught me eating. <laughs> that's okay. <laughs> um, okay. Um, yeah, but for, I mean, even you're talking online for like, and, and you know, different people, Okay, like, okay, like, you know, these people, and he knew these people, but, you know, they didn't, you know, it's just, I don't know, I think that with some people, it's like, meant to be, no matter what was going to happen, you, the two of you would meet, you know, that's why I say destiny, because I believe okay, that, Okay, so, you know, do, do you think it's possible that, path. okay, so, crazy lady, do you think it's possible that if those other people were not there to say, hey, I didn't know somebody who, who, uh, who you, you guys would, would like still to have meet? met somehow. Okay. And, okay. All right. All right. And Baram says it is fate. So crazy lady, um, I'm going to ask you, um, do you think fate and destiny is the same as coincidence? Or do you think that's something completely different? I think it's completely different. You know, why? Because coincidence is just like, you know, um, huh, that was like, you know, like the same, like a random similarity. You know what I mean? Okay. Okay. All right. All right. And Baram says also fate. And Frankie, thank you very much for your for your gift. I appreciate it. Okay. Welcome, Pod for Pod for God. Welcome. Okay. So, um, do you guys think that a coincidence? Um, how, how do I want to put that? I just want to make sure that I'm that I'm saying this right. Um, do you think a coincidence is mostly orchestrated, or again, I come back? Do they just happen? So, with my AOL story, do you think that was orchestrated, or like Crazy Lady says, you all would have met anyway? Welcome, Angie. Is this Angie from Scotland? You change your um your picture. Okay, Baram wants to speak. What do you want to say, Baram? Uh, can you hear me? Yes, I can. Hey, Angie. Yes, go ahead. Go ahead, Baram. Um, it is a hard one uh, to kind of put into words. I, I know, I know what you're saying, but I think everything has a an amount of uh, like scientific probability about it, even down to like the decisions you make that day. Like, for instance, if you decide to stay in bed all day, uh, you you're losing out on chances that things might happen. So it could be it could be traced back to anything. You know, it's it, like I say, it's hard to put into words, but I think everything has. I, I, it's a decision-making thing. So I, I didn't actually catch your story about your AOL. I was actually out fueling up the car and I had my headphone in. But um, I think you said that your friends were talking about you at the same time. So it's like 
the probability that your friends would talk about you are pretty high because they're your friends. So, you know, I, I'm 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 struggling myself. I'll I'll put it back to you. <laughs> <laughs> No, no, I, I understand. I mean, you know, it's something that, you know, it's something that I, I think about. I think about these crazy things. Sometimes they pop into my head. I'm like, okay, so did this happen? Or is why is this doing this or whatever? Welcome, shy lady. Welcome, my friend. So um, do you think, now I'm going to go back to the coincidence uh, thing here. I'm, I'm going to stay with this thing. But you know how some people say, if you speak it, 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 it will become true. If you want something to happen, if, if, if you want to, you know, get that job, if, if, you know, if you want to go out with that guy, if you want to meet, meet that girl, if, if you speak it in, in, into the universe, it will be true. Do you think that's the same thing as a coincidence? Anybody? Anybody? Crucible map. Okay, crazy ladies thinking. And thank God I am not the only one who has these random thoughts. <laughs> Hold on for a moment, Crucible Man. Crazy lady, I have so many thoughts that, that that pop into my head. I mean, I will be walking my dog and I'll see something and literally I am typing it into my phone as a possible show topic or something to, to come back to. A lot of things pop into my head. I'm sorry, Crucible Man, go ahead. Um, I, I missed the thread there. What were you saying first? <laughs> After crazy lady jumped in there. Sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm, I screwed everybody up over there. Um, no, I was saying that if you, do you think the coincidence is the same as when some people say, if you speak it in, into the universe, if you want this to happen, if you want this job to happen, if you speak it out loud into the universe and it will happen, do you think that's the same thing as a, a coincidence that you said you wanted it to happen? So something happened? Yes, I do. I think to uh, infer otherwise would be to, you know, convey power over human beings that I don't think we have. If that were the case, we'd be speaking things into existence 24-7, depending on what we were, you know, looking for. So I think, I think it could be easy to veer off into otherworldly explanations. And I guess maybe I'm struggling with the question, why, why does it matter if we believe in coincidences or not? And, and I'm, not, I'm not mocking the show topic, please don't misunderstand. Is it because we need something to make sense of the events in our lives? Um, and we need, you know, kind of an, an, a, a nice little box to put them in. In other words, we can't explain certain things that happen. So an obvious scientific explanation would be your, your probability example. I, I think that's solid math, and there's probably a lot of science behind it. Coincidences are a little you know, harder to, to pin down, but do you start to veer off into you know, um, otherworldly type of explanations, witchcraft, sorcery? Um, I'm, I'm kind of exaggerating a little bit here, but at what point do we stop trying to find explanations for things uh, is it because we need to make sense of them or uh, you know that's that would be my explanation because we can't accept no explanation we can't accept an event that doesn't have any rhyme or reason to it we need to make sense and we need to make order of things that happen in our lives just to keep us just to keep us sane but you you can kind of cross over into ascribing everything to things that probably are not real plausible, but I think it's just based on our need to have answers to things. Whether we're right or not, I'm not sure is that important. It's we can go someplace and reliably say that was a probability. It was going to happen eventually. That was just a coincidence. That was happenstance. I think it gives us comfort over events in our lives that we can't otherwise control. Okay. All right. Uh, let me read what uh, Kimis says. Kimis says, uh, once someone puts that energy or thought into the atmosphere, that this is what you want, things will align themselves to point you in that direction. Okay. And he also says it's more of sub, sub, subliminally choosing the things that line you up on that path. Okay, and Shy Lady says that Crucible Man has made some good points. All right, so um, welcome, Feisty One. Welcome, my friend. So, so if you're speaking things into the universe, then 
is not a coincidence. So now I come back to do coincidences really e- exist? I mean, because you guys are saying things that are kind of pointing me into that direction. Do coincidences really exist? You know, and I come back to the to my second question: Can the same thing happen to people in the exact same way? Can the ex- can the same thing happen to you? And happen to your sister? Can the same thing happen to you? You know, happen to your your coworker um, in the exact same way? And when that when things like that happen, then people consider it a a coincidence. So, are coincidences? real or are we just hoping and wishing and speaking things into the universe that that we want to happen shy lady wants to come on and thank you everyone for liking this show all right shy lady you are on my friend what do you want to say hey first of all i want to say hello to you and everyone else um i'm not really sure if i believe in coincidences because i'm a person who I believe in the Bible. I believe in heaven and hell. And I believe that the devil exists and obviously God, God exists in my life. Um, you know, I had, I had, uh, my father passed away this past April. And even though my father had dementia, I still wasn't expecting him to go because when he had a checkup, the doctor said he was physically healthy. His heart was good. Um, he had had COVID months ago. He even had pneumonia, but he had outlived all of that. He, cause he had, he had, first of all, he was vaccinated. So when he did, did get COVID, it, it only lasts, um, I think a day or so of the symptoms and they went away. But, um, I was really upset because I didn't get a chance to see my father. Uh, my father lived, lived in Chicago. I'm in Texas. I didn't get a chance to say goodbye, so to speak. I know that he had, like I said, he had dementia, but he was still talking and walking before the doctor said that he died of natural causes. He didn't actually die of dementia. So I was told his heart just stopped, even though he was healthy physically. And I just was so disappointed. I was blaming COVID. I told my mother, you know, I'm so upset. This COVID stuff is making me sick. I'm, I'm just so disgusted because I didn't get a chance because they would not allow us to go to the nursing home to see him because of COVID. And my mother said, it was just his time to go. And I said, I, I, okay. She just said it was his time to go. So I say all of that to say, I don't really believe in coincidences. I think that God allows things to happen. God is still in control of this world. I know there's some people that are probably atheists listening, but that's just my point of view. And God allow things to happen, whether they're good or bad, whether whether bad things happen to good people, he allowed them to happen. I've even heard of people being struck by lightning uh, more than once and surviving. Is it a coincidence? I don't think so. I just, I don't think coincidences are, are, are real. I think that, um, God allows things to happen. And if you speak something to an existence, whoever your God is, you know, maybe that person responds to your, your, uh, your wish or whatever. I don't know, but I, I, that's what I believe. And I believe in, I believe in God and I believe, believe that the devil exists. So, so shy lady. So, so can I say that you basically base everything on, well, not everything, but faith is, you know, to you, faith um, kind of steers a, a lot of things in terms of yeah. like, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. All right. I think so. Mm-hmm. Okay. That's, that's, that's interesting because, um, you know, I've told you guys before that, um, you know, my father passed away in, in 2018. He was in, in Chicago. Um, I was in California and, um, you know, um, my sister and I, we've, we've talked, we've talked about this because, I was jealous. I, I was jealous of the fact that my sister was able to go over to the house and she was able to to see him. You know, um, you know, he had passed on, but she he was she was able to see and touch and kiss and what have you. I wasn't able to 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 do that. And my father was pretty much healthy. So um I do believe and 
you know, I accepted that it was his time to go. I don't think it was a coincidence. I don't think, you know, um, um, uh, I think that, you know, it just happened that he went, at, he went at that time. And I do believe in God and God called him home at that particular time. Um, so, again, when you say a coincidence, again, the, 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 the definition of a coincidence is a remarkable, a, a remarkable concurrence of events or circumstance without apparent casual connection. So without apparent casual connection, um, what does that mean? Um, oh, and by the way, wel welcome, Kaba. I am, I am so, I'm, I'm so sorry. Uh, I did not acknowledge you, you before. Um, okay, so Feisty One says, Shy Lady and Sally Blue Sister, do you believe that everything is predetermined? Um, and then Crazy Lady says, uh, you were talking about your dad. I knew he was sick a lot longer than everyone else. He had only told me at the end. Okay, so um, Shiley, I'll have you answer uh, Feisty one first, and then I will answer. Do you believe that everything is predetermined? Shiley? Yes, yes, I do. I think that God has an appointed time for everyone's death. It's just a fact. Nobody, nobody is going to stay, and your life is already, yeah, he allows you free will to make choices, but I believe that your your destiny is, is has been predetermined by God, whether you believe in him or not. It's 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 predetermined. You didn't ask to be born. And um I believe that it, your destiny, just like he brought you into the world, I believe there's a time that he has determined when you're gonna leave. So yeah, I do so, believe in that. So it's not so it's so it's predetermined that um you walk into a you walk into a restaurant and, you know, a producer from Hollywood sees you and, you know, they're like, I want you for, for my next movie. Do you think that that would have happened anyway, that you could have gone someone else and become this star? Or, I mean, do you think that? I do. Shy lady? Okay. I do. I really do. I, like I said, I don't believe in coincidences. I believe that God allows so many things to happen. You know, I, I, you know, I question God sometimes because of you know the whole thing about why do uh, bad things happen to good people. I, I, I can't figure it out for the for the life of me, and it's not my job to figure it out. But I, I can say that um, I'm human and I have questions, but I just leave it up to God. I think everything is predetermined. But like I said, we all have free will to make choices. And sometimes choices that we make are not good, but God has already determined that the steps that your life will, will take before your final destination. Okay. All right. And I would say I would have to uh, um, agree with you. Um, and Kaba says coincidences are like fairies. You have to believe in them. So I'm going to just make the rounds around to everyone else who was speaking. And I am going to send some more invites out just in case someone else wants to speak. If not, I totally understand. So Baram, I'm going to go back to you. Do you want to comment on anything that, that everyone's been saying? Um, just the, the manifestation, I think is a word that you left out when you said about like speaking things into existence. I think that is something that I am uh, stumbling across just now in my journey. Uh, like I look into like, conspiracies and truth and politics and that and I, I realize there's a lot of people in the world that think spirituality and like doing meditation and yoga and and uh, manifesting things into existence and pushing all your energy towards something and then it ends up coming true so again I'd probably put that in not as not a coincidence because if you're focusing on this one thing and you want it to happen you know the chances are it will happen um, and maybe a better way, certainly for me, because I'm struggling with this one, but if maybe w s people threw in some examples of con uh, coincidences that we can maybe talk about rather than, uh, that would certainly help me anyway. So I'll, I'll pass it on to the next, uh, the next person. Okay, well, we will circle around back to you a little later. Thank you for your input. So uh, Balram wants uh, some examples of coincidences. I gave him my AOL um, example, uh, Kava. Uh, Angie, no problem. I always uh, put out the invite just in case someone wants to speak. 
Um, Kava, I will come to you. What do you have to say? Um, can you hear me? Yeah, I sure can. Okay. Um, so I think that everything connected, we just, we're not everybody is on the level of awareness to see that. And so the law of attraction applies to this, I think. And so if, if you're just aware of something, uh, you can find a coincidence in relation to that thing. Like, I'll give you an example. Um, so let's say I was interested in a person that works at my local grocery store. And um, I happen to be like, thinking about them that day and they just so happen to be working that day and they just so happen to be thinking of me maybe and like gave me their number like that would be in my personal definition like a coincidence but see if, if I wasn't like on a level of awareness of my love life or connections with other people or that particular person um, even if that all that had it really happened like it wouldn't trigger my awareness in that it was a coincidence if, if that makes any sense it does make sense it does make sense J uh jill welcome okay uh crazy lady says it was a weird coincidence when the moose stepped out onto the road okay now <laughs> i remember your story about the moose so crazy lady i'm giving you the mic well, I mean, it's like, you know, coincidences, you know, like that was a coincidence, you know, like, you know, who would have thunk, you know? Um, okay, let me let me know. stop you for a moment. Was that a coincidence or was it like Shy Lady said? Was it pre pre or I'm sorry, what what Shy Lady and Feisty one said? Was it predetermined? Was it predetermined whether or not you were coming around that curve or going down that road? That moose was going to step in that road. Yeah. You know, I mean, it just like, you know, see, now I have to think now, now I'm, now I'm thinking again. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm what sorry. kind of connection did you have to that moose? Well, Was I it mean, a casual connection or no, I, I, I literally, I hit a moose on a motorbike going like 60 miles an hour and I lived through it and didn't mess up the bike too bad as you know one would think hitting you know pretty much a horse <laughs> you know i mean it was just like a bizarre coincidence that you know he stepped out of the brush like at that moment you know what i mean yeah well you know, you know that's, was that's, if, that's, if, if that was predetermined why i mean you know to me like if, uh, if something like that's predetermined then really in a way we really don't have free will did you have a premonition well Okay. No, that I was gonna hit the moose. No, I never. Okay. But I do think I died sometime during that like event. But that's so, another. So, crazy lady, um, when you told that story, first of all, it was a. I mean, it it was very shocking when you first uh, told us that um, story. But now that we're talking about the coincidences, um, do you think that? And I'm not trying to be funny or anything. I'm I'm being totally serious. Do you think um, that that moose stepping out on that road was meant for you, as opposed to if you hadn't been on on the road that day and I was on 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 the road driving, that it would have been meant for me? I mean, do you think that that moose stepping out on that road was meant? You for know, you? I never thought about it like that. You know, because. You know, but maybe, you know, maybe I, you know, my brother was like right behind me on his motorbike. You know, maybe I see you, one never knows, you know, uh, maybe I, I, because of that event, you know, it, it pre prepared me for some other later event. I don't know. Okay. All right. <laughs> I'm going to circle around to Crucible Man. Do you want to comment or give, um, I know Bob ba Ram is wanting some examples of, of coincidences to, to help him out with this. So, um, uh, do, do you, what do you want to say? 
I don't have any examples. I've been kind of rifling through my mind since he kind of made the request, and I'm I'm coming up empty. Um, but I, I want to, at the risk of muddying the waters or, or taking the conversation too far in another direction, you know, another word that you could link with coincidence and, and our, you know, question I would have for the group, you know, are coincidences good and bad? Because there are bad coincidences, coincidences just like there are good ones. Are, are they a form of karma? Um, I'm a believer in karma. Um, I'm a believer in good karma, and I'm a believer in in, in bad karma. So, uh, if you're believers, if you're a believer in karma, is that the same as being a believer in coincidences, or vice versa, or is karma and coincidence our karma and coincidences two completely different things? Because if, if you could argue, as I'm talking through this now, I'm kind of clarifying it in my own mind. Your if you're doing something um, deliberately, in other words, if you did something good or you did something bad, the universe is going to reward you or, or punish you if you believe in karma, as I do. But coincidences are almost things that you do willfully. You know, there's no universal cosmic thing going on there, I don't think. It, it just happened to be you showed up at, at the same restaurant as your friend did on the same on the same day. Was that karma? No, I don't think so. But is our coincidences and karma kind of you know joined at the hip in some cases? Okay, um, shy lady, uh, what do you want to say? Hello, shy lady. Looks like she's. Did, did, did you hold on for a second, Kava? Shy lady, did you want to say something or? Okay, I do believe she. Okay, it's just that she pops up, and I just want to make sure everyone has um, has the mic. Uh, okay, Kava, what do you want to say? Oh, um, so I guess so. Let's say I had something to tell Ba Ramu, and like I've never seen him on this show before. And I popped up on the show and, and what a coincidence, like, oh, besides, by the way, I have something to tell you. Um, not really, but just as an example. Right. Okay. So, um, Bahram, I'm going to come back to you. Does that help help you out? But before I go to you, I want to say something that Jill says. Jill says, in referring to Crazy Lady, it was an accident and, apps, and accidents happen, right? So are accidents the same as karma? Are accidents a, a coincidence? And Bahram, I'm going to give it back to you. Did great, did uh, Kava, did she help, help you out yeah. at all? Yeah, well, that I mean, thanks, Kava, for uh, coming up with an example. But that's quite an easy one for me because <laughs> <laughs> basically we're both on Podbean and she has something to tell me. And there are, let's say, there are 20 shows on Podbean and there's a good chance that we will meet in one of these shows, whether it be tonight or tomorrow or the next day. So I wouldn't say that's a coincidence. I would say that's a probability with a very high percentage. Um, but again, like even I was thinking more of uh, the crazy lady story about the moose and uh, hitting the moose in the morning. And let's just add in a little extra where maybe she was thinking about, uh, she had a dream about a moose that night, right? And then the next morning she wakes up and she tragically hits a moose. Well, I would say that that's a coincidence, but it's also a very probable a probability because there's probably a lot of mooses in that area where she drives so there's like an element of probability and you know if that's the word or science or whatever like there's and there's also the the element of she had a dream that night or something extra happened in her life that she's gonna think oh wow that's a that's a coincidence because i had a dream like that's what i'm trying to say i think in every coincidence there's going to be an element of luck or happenstance or coincidence in, in its word, you know, in its meaning, but there's also a lot of it could be a probable chance. There's a, there's a high risk that it's, it's going to happen anyway. Okay. So Bahram, I'm going to throw, throw this at you. Um, do you think that having a dream about something and then it comes true or it happens um, 
that's a coincidence. Yeah, well, well, now that you've made me think about it, I would say I haven't really looked into what dreams are, but I believe there are some form of like sub subliminal thought. Like I've often thought with my own experience with dreaming, I could, uh, there was one time when I was younger and I was out driving my car and I saw a girl that I used to go to school with and I waved to her on the way past. And then that night I had a dream about her and that to me kind of confirms my bias maybe maybe i'm not correct but for me that was my subconscious my subconscious taking in oh there's that girl that i used to sit next to in class when i was 10 years old uh, 10 years of age and it went straight to the back of my mind and then i dreamt about her that night and you know that that's where the element of probability comes in you know, I I don't know. I'm trying. I'm trying to like. <laughs> can, you know, you know what I mean. I think that yes, when yes, we manifest yes. things in our thoughts, we we dream because of our subconscious. So, in our you know, in our conscious levels, we're not expecting it. So we go, oh, that's a co- that's a coincidence because I had a dream about her the other night or the other day or whatever. But there is a high probability because you you seen them <laughs> earlier in the week. <laughs> Okay. All right. Um, welcome, Mr. A. All right. So um, let's see. Crazy Lady says, if you dreamed of her before you saw her, and I wanted to make her see, Jill says, um, my coincidence is unexpectedly something happened, but there were no connection before the incident. My accident is unexpectedly and unintentionally. That's a mouthful. That is a mouthful. All right. So, um, so karma, let's let's talk about karma. Uh, Crucible Man brought up the the the, the, um, the the word karma. Okay, and we talked about karma once before in one of our previous shows. Um, so, is karma good or bad? Um, a coincidence? Is it something that's predetermined? Is it um, an accident? Something that happens by chance is it fate what is karma and crazy lady says karma is quick quick with me so what what is karma anybody want to take that one and welcome sura surbi surbi Okay, and Kasurbi, I'm probably destroying your name, and I apologize. You're saying karma is action. Okay. Does uh, And I will send you out an invite just in case you would like to jump on. If not, again, I understand. So is karma all of those things? Or, uh, see, Mr. Ray says karma is the energy you put out into the world. Okay, we were talking about energy you, you put out into the world, but there is good karma and there is bad karma. So we're putting out good energy and we're putting out bad energy. So anybody want to jump jump in on that? Um, I'll circle back around. Crucible Man, what do you have to say? Okay, I will pass up Crucible Man and I will go to Crazy Lady. Do you want to take that one? Okay, karma can mean different things for different people. My belief of karma is like the energy you put out, okay, the thought, you know, um, is what you will receive. Like, and some people believe like in karma debt of like previous lifetimes and stuff. Um, it's the yin and the yang, okay. Um, sometimes people have to go through certain things because they had their karma had to learn um, a lesson, a value in something it's okay really hard to explain yeah it seems like that this that this episode or this particular show um has a lot of people struggling with coincidences and karma and fate you know whatever i mean in in the end are they all the same thing um shy lady I'm, I'm, I'm gonna go to you uh because you say you don't believe in, in, in coincidences in the end fate um serendipity chance accidents destiny are they all all the same thing or do you just firmly not believe in in coincidences at all 
I, I, I don't believe in coincidence. I'll give you an example um, for me. I was just talking to my daughter uh, a few days ago, and she was asking me about, uh, well, she, she, well, she knows a story, but she was just reaffirming some things in, like, for her own life. And she said to me, um, she was asking me a question about dating and about uh, my husband, her dad. And we met, my husband and I met in 88. At the time he was um, going through a divorce. I didn't want, to, want anything to do with someone going through a divorce. So the first night that I met him, I met him through a friend that I, that I worked with at a house party. And we hit it off really well, hung out um, for hours, talked for hours. But during that time, when he told me that he was going through a divorce, I immediately um, put, a, put a blocker on, on this going any further because I, I didn't want anything to do with him. And a year later, I happened to um, run into him at another party and it was dark. This, this place was dark, but he was trying to introduce himself to the f friend that I was with. And when I heard his name, because I didn't see his face, but when I heard his name, I turned around and said, oh, I remember you. I met you last year. Do you remember? Me? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Blah, blah, blah. And I don't think that was um, a coincidence. I don't. I've been married to this man almost 30 years. We have three kids. I don't think it was a coincidence. I was not um, looking for him. We didn't have um, we didn't have phone numbers or anything like that. I don't think it was a coincidence. I think it was predetermined by God for us to um, be married and to have three kids. OK. All right. Crazy lady. What did you want to say? Did you unmute? Uh, you uh, I saw you say un unmute. So, yeah, did you unmute him? Because he said he was talking. Who? Who was talking? Uh, da, 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 da. Crucible man. I did not have cru Crucible man. I you're un 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 unmuted. You you have been unmuted, so you you can talk. Hello? I can't hear you. Okay, you may want to go back out and come back in. I don't see him as muted, so you might want to go out, Crucible, and come back in. All right, so we'll wait for him. Um, Kim says, I don't believe in coincidence. I believe that the similarities between our individual wants, needs, and desires allow for our paths to intersect. That's interesting. That's interesting. So, um, do you believe in predetermination or destiny? <laughs> okay, Crazy Lazy says technology is silencing him, talking about Crucible Man. Okay, and, and Surabi, I know I'm not pronouncing your name correctly. I am so sorry. Our thoughts and actions create karma. So it seems like that you totally or pretty much be, believe in, in karma. Um, let's see here. I, I'm going to send you out an invite and you can correct me on your name. And I don't know what Crucible Man is doing. And Chemist. Do you want to say something, my friend? You usually say something at the very end here. So I'm going to give this to you. Okay, let's see. Crucible Man is back. Hold on for a moment, guys. I'm trying to get Crucible Man here. Okay, you can have the mic. But I'm not picking you up here. Okay, so um, I am going going to keep going. So in terms of destiny, let's talk about that word for a moment. Let's talk about destiny. Do you believe in destiny? Um, Shy Lady, do you believe that you were destined to meet your husband, that you guys were, like you said, we're going to get married and, you know, and you know, you're married all these years, you have three, three children. Um, is, is that destiny? Is it fate? I believe definitely it was destiny. I believe it was uh, predetermined, appointed by God, because I definitely didn't plan it. I didn't plan to see him again ever. I mean, Chicago is a big city. 
And this was a time when you didn't have Facebook and social, all the other social medias. So I definitely believe it was, it was fate. Most definitely. Okay. Pre predetermined by God. Predetermined by God. Okay. So I'm going to go to Kava. Um, you said I do, but it's not what, what you think. So can you please enlighten me? Can you come back and, and tell me what you think? Sounds okay. Um, Kava, you're on. I know that we're all destined for a common thing. Uh, that is death. Um, however, that's really the only thing that I can truly apply destiny to. Okay. All right. Um, so, sir. <laughs> Sorry, B, I'm sorry. I'm just having a problem with your name here. I, I just, I, I don't like saying um, people's or pronouncing pe people's names incorrectly. Okay, you say our karmas create destiny. So that's what she says. Thank you for being gracious. Um, karma creates destiny. Kava, I'm going to go back to you. Do you believe that's true? Karmas create destiny. Uh, I yes. Yes, I do. I do believe that. Could you give me an example if you have one? I'm just. Mm, well, so I think it, it did. Life doesn't start out like that. Like it's nothing's predetermined from the get. I think that our free will is given first and then we determine. Uh, but everything that we do could lead to karma. And so it, it, it's, it's, it's predetermined yet it's, determined by our actions. So it's like we have control, but we don't type of thing. All right. So let me throw, throw this out to, to people. So um, um, you, you get it, you get on an, an airplane and um, that airplane may have an accident. Some people survive, some people don't. Um, some people change their um, change their reservations at, at, at the last minute. Um, is that all predetermined? Anybody? Well, I think that no matter what, something is going to happen. No matter what you do. Okay. All right. So has anyone ever seen that movie? Um, it came out years ago called uh, Final Final Destination. Um, and Bahram, I will uh, circle back, back around to you. Um, Final uh, Destination, which was, uh, it was a pretty good movie, um, in my opinion, um, about these people who were on, on the plane and they were going to, to Paris on a class trip. And... Um, I'm sorry, Saba. Okay, Saba. Thank you. <laughs> thank you for for correcting me there. Um, and these high school kids were on, on the plane. They were going on a class trip to Paris. And this one particular young man um, had a vision. And he had a vision that this plane was going to crash. And he started freaking out and he wanted to get off the plane. And they were like, no, no, you can't get off the plane. He's like, I have to get off this plane. This plane's going to crash. This plane's going to crash. And there were, I do believe it was seven other students who got off with, with him. The plane took off. And after the plane took off, the plane um, blew up in mid midair. And um, after that, a series of accidents started to happen where um, basically everyone who got off the plane they ended up dying um, in some some fashion or, or, or another. Um, so I would like to know, what do you all think? But before that, I am going to go to, to Bahram, Bahram because he wanted to say something. What did you want to say, Bahram? Um, it was more about what uh, I think Shy Lady brought up about predetermined by God. And I know someone else has touched upon the predeterminism of the the way our lives go and I would say that we maybe could spend a little bit of time going around everyone talking about free will because that's why I think I don't believe in coincidences or destiny um, because if you want something to happen you'll make it happen so um, 
for example, my my wife and I met in a in a pretty peculiar way where I moved away from my home country to work and she moved away from her home country to go to university and we met in that town and like some people would say oh that was destiny for you guys to meet but I would say it was just you know it's not as if there is a force being put on to us to make us do things it's our own free will so we are making these things happen and it's just a nice way of saying, Oh, that was a coincidence that we were to meet in the, on that day or you know, I don't I don't think there's much you know, it, it's I think it's just a nice way of where people talk and they say, Oh, that was a coincidence or that was destiny or that was fate that you met your partner or or that happened. Um so again I think free will and energy and your determination to make things happen along with like um the chance of something happening it will end up happening <laughs> so can i say like shy lady then you do not believe in coincidences that things are predetermined if they're going to happen that they're going to happen totally agree yeah okay and Bahram, do you believe that? Yeah, that yeah, it? yeah. But I think I think uh, Chai Lady, could you? Because where where me and Chai Lady both agree that coincidences aren't don't exist, she believes that it's predetermined, whereas I believe it's down to our free will. I mean, I I mean, I, I don't want to get into like uh, religious or or like um, like it's God's God's will for us. Whereas I think it's, I think that's where we disagree, which is isn't a big deal. Um, I think on tonight's show the the topic is like, do you believe in coincidences? But I believe it's it's us. It's we are the driving force, and we make our own coincidences, if you will, to use the word that we're using tonight. But I wouldn't call them a coincidence by like some some other entity. It's us. It's it's one hundred percent us that makes our own insert the whatever word you want <laughs> okay I, all right shy lady do you want to respond to that yeah and i don't want to make make this about i don't really like religion because religion is just it, it can be overwhelming because there's so many different types of religions out there so i don't really like to get into religion but i can't help but think about you know reading the bible and i've always had questions um by, for instance, the whole situation with the fate of man, when um, Adam was told not to um, um, eat, the, eat the apple because it was forbidden. And if he ate it, everybody knows a story that would make you like God. And you were warned, but you made that free will choice, even though God knew, according to the Bible, God knew that you were going to eat that apple. And he knew that you would be the downfall of man. He knew that. But you have the free will not to eat of that tree. You had that free will and you made the choice to do it. But, but God had already knew that you were going to do that, even though you made that choice. He didn't tell you to eat of that tree. He told you not to, but you did it anyway. So we can look at that. There's some people that don't believe in the Bible, but I believe that's, that's a, uh, in my opinion, that is a great example of knowing that your life is predetermined by the choices that you make. But I still believe that God knows those choices that you're going to make. Even though he's given you the will to do that, he knows what choices you're going to make. And, he, and people you know, can agree or disagree, but he also knows when you're going to die. Is that your choice to determine when you're going to die? Of course, some people do choose to do suicide. It's a choice. But he knows when you're going to leave this earth. He knows that. So, again, you can people can say what they want, but I still believe that you are given free will, but God knows the steps that he has ordered for your life. He knows when you're leaving, but he gives you free will. 
Well, well said. Um, um, let's see. Frankie says, Dan, shy lady. I do believe she meant to say, damn, shy lady. All right. So, Baram, I'm going to come back to you. Do you want to respond to that one? No, that was very well put. Well done, shy lady. That was, uh, <laughs> no, I can't, I can't, uh, there's no, there's no disagreement there. Obviously, I, I respect, uh, um, I'm not a religious person, but I do respect and I, I'm actually really interested in, in all that stuff. And, I mean, I've heard that before where you, you make a decision and, and God will know it a split second before you make it because he's all knowing and all, you know, all that stuff. So, yeah, that's pretty much it. I think the word I was searching for earlier was inevitability. I think it's inevitable that if you put your mind to something, you'll subconsciously or consciously make decisions that will push you closer to your goal and then when it happens or if it happens in a weirder way or before you expect it we're as a, i mean i think all humans are maybe just dumbfounded or you can't think of a better word so i think that's where the word coincidence has has came up and we just always just label things a fate or destiny or coincidence or if you're religious, you maybe say it's it's uh, God's way. Like there's certain words, all these words, I think mean pretty much the same thing. But I would argue that there's a an element of free will. That well, in fact, I think it's all free will that we're pushing ourselves in that direction, um, and it'll happen one day or or another. All right, um, Baram, you also made a very good point. Um, Crucible Man, I know you want to say something, but for whatever reason, I don't know what's going on, but you are not muted, my friend. You are not muted. Uh, let's see something. Nope, you are not muted. Don't know what's going on there. So does anyone else want to say anything before we go? Uh, Sava, do you want to say anything? Sure. So... I think that if we have one true creator who created everything, that means he created uh, the cause and effect of everything. Like he, like it was, it's all played out before us. We just make the choice. And so whatever choice we make, something happens. And so if we have a creator, if everything's created, then it is by design. So it's like, there's really no telling to happen because we have free will. And I think that's just part of what we opted into to experience this life here on earth. Okay. That's very, that's also very well said. Um, okay. Let me look at some of the last comments before we wrap up. Uh, Frankie says, I'm at work. I want to talk. I understand you're at work. I don't know. Maybe you can go into the bathroom, into a closet, whatever. Um, I would love for you to talk because girl, you are giving me these pot things and I'm absolutely loving it. So thank you. And thank you everyone for liking the show. Uh, let's see. Uh, da, da, da. Did I miss anyone's comments? Just want to make sure. Okay, so does anyone else have any last comments? Uh, Shy Lady, I'll go to you, then Bahram, and then we will wrap it up. Shy Lady, you have anything else you want to add? Yes, no? Okay. I was just saying it's one of my favorite shows. I was typing when you asked. <laughs> okay, well, Shy Lady, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Yeah. All right, and Bahram, do you want to say anything? before we go and just thank you for having me on again and uh, <laughs> I, I found it i found it hard to put into words i think everyone well well i certainly struggled with it but um yeah i think i got her in the end and i love these shows they make you think and uh it's good to have shows like yours on podbean because i, lo I like to feel like i've left a show learning something and your show definitely does that so thank you well, th thank you for coming. You're always welcome. And Crucible Man, it seems like you were able to come on here. So, hello. You're you are here. Okay. So, what do you want to say before we wrap up? Yeah, just the last thing, real quick. Since I was the one who kind of brought up the subject of karma, um, you guys have been talking bef before. I was trying to get back in. You know, I would make a distinction between karma and coincidences because somebody made the comment, and I I couldn't agree more. Karma, good and bad, is the energy we send out to the universe. So we've got an active role in, in that energy, whether it's good or bad.
coincidences are more happenstance and, and, and random. And I don't know that we necessarily have a role in a coincidence. Kind of, I'll go back to the example. You and your friend show up at the same restaurant that neither of you have been to in, in 10 years on, on the same night. Um, nobody put out any energy into the universe, I don't think, to make that happen. But when when good or bad things happen to us, I, I think it's a, a largely to the extent of the energy we put out there. So I don't know that coincidences are a, are a result of energy, but I do know that that karma is a result of energy. And so I think that would be one minor distinction that, that I would make between the two. Okay. All right. Let me read these last comments here. Um, Kim has said, oh, I just missed it. Uh, let me go back up here. Kim has says, the Bible also says that whoever believes in him shall not perish, but have everlasting life. I'm one of the crazy people shooting for everlasting life. Dude, if I could have everlasting life, I would want that also. All right. Um, and he also asked, Sava, do you have a bag of fortune cookies? And she says, yes. All right, everyone. So that's the show today. Um, you know, I thought this was going to be a relatively simple question and it got deep. You know, uh, everyone has their, you know, difference of, of opinions and, um, you know, what they want to say and what have you. And everyone, everyone says something that, at least for me, made, made, made me think. So thank you for that. And I also want to put something out to you guys. Um, I have, again, I get my topics from just different things. If I'm watching the news, if I'm walking my dog, if I'm watching something on TV, if I'm on the internet, whatever. Um, so if you guys have any topics that you would want me to do, um, put, put them out there. I have no problem with it as long as it's, it's respectful, whatever. I like to talk about things that other people don't want to talk about. Um, so something fun, um, something serious, whatever. So anything you guys ever want to, uh, I do have social media. I am on Twitter, Salad Blue Sister on Twitter. And I'm also on Instagram. Not, I don't post that much on, on Instagram, but I do post a lot on Twitter. <laughs> so, um, and I'm also on YouTube. So, um, Okay, so anyway, that's it. Welcome back, Cap Bedlam. Um, but we are about to wrap up. Again, everyone, thank you very much for coming. The show does not work without you. Welcome back, crazy lady. So thank you all for coming. Always speak your truth. I am Solid Blue Sister. This is my turn to talk, and I will see you hopefully tomorrow. Bye, shy lady. Juju, I hope you are enjoying your pool time, girl. And Frankie, whenever you are able to jump on, please do. And again, thank you, thank you, thank you so much. Thank you so much for all of your um, likes and your pod names. Code 2319, welcome, but we are signing off here. Sava, you are at 16personalities.com. All right. Just looking at some of these comments. Juju says, bye, everyone, and thank you. That's to find your personality type. Okay, I will go on there. 16personalities.com for your personality type. I am. I will do that. I did my personality type once. I don't really remember what it was, what it came out to be, but. <laughs> the music is back. Yes, it is, Shy Lady. The music is back. I had to take my uh, MacBook into the Apple store. They had to do a couple of things for me and erase some stuff, so I have to slowly adding stuff back on. And Kim says the chef just could have gotten subject could have gotten way deeper. Dude, if you had come on, maybe you could have taken it deeper. I sent you some invites. You could have come on. See, I'm inviting you now, but now <laughs> the music is going off. Okay, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Thank you. Bye.